You guys might be wondering, why doesn't Jamie Lynn Spears fight for Britney's freedom? Why hasn't she joined the Free Britney movement? Well, she's been a little bit busy filming cringe music videos with Noah Beck and Gigi Gorgeous instead of fighting for her sister's freedom. Frankly, she doesn't care about her sister's freedom, and I'm going to explain why. So get ready to pay close attention, grab a snack, and wash it down with some hot tea. Britney Spears should not trust her little sister Jamie Lynn Spears. You may have been seeing Jamie Lynn around more lately because she's been doing a ton of Zoe 101 press and trying to become famous again, and during this time, she hasn't fought for Britney at all. It's hard to watch her do these Good Morning America interviews, yet she doesn't mention her sister's fight for freedom at all. If she really cared about Britney, she would bring awareness to this battle. She, like her father and Liam Taylor and everyone else in Britney's team, are trying to make it seem like nothing really is going on and that Britney's alright and that she needs her privacy. That is not the truth. Britney wants us to continue talking about this and she has made that clear through her lawyer. So why is Jamie Lynn trying to um, keep her sister in this conservatorship? Is she really, Jamie Lynn really daddy's little girl and trying to fight for her dad who obviously has problems? Or is Liam Taylor so much of Jamie Lynn's mother that she just does whatever Liam Taylor tells her what to do. We're going to look at all of that and I'm going to walk through the history of Jamie Lynn and why she's really not Britney's sister at all. Before we get into everything, I do want to say it is hard to make this video about Britney's sister. Nobody wants to tear apart someone's family. Like, I didn't want to make the whole Sam video about her boyfriend, but I did it because there's so much out there. And that's the same with Jamie Lynn Spears. It's not like I'm pulling this from thin air. There is so much to go through and so much evidence showing that she, frankly, just doesn't care about her sister's freedom. And she's made it clear. So let's make it even clearer for you guys. Let's start with their childhood because I feel like their parents really did influence who they are, including Jamie Lynn. Like a lot of us, we are influenced by our parents, and Britney's father and Jamie Lynn's father, Big Jamie, is an out and we know this. Actually, their mother, Lynn, wrote in her book, Through the Storm, about how Jamie was such an and how it was really bad for the children. She wrote, quote, Even then, I stuck by Jamie. People say that I could have or should have left him long time before I did, but they have no idea what it was like. Anyone who is married to an alcoholic knows that a drinker can convince you time and time again that he can overcome his problem. But it was clear that the kids were really affected by this, and they can tell that their father was struggling with his in the same book, Jamie Lynn actually told her mother, Lynn, quote, Mama, you can't be that blind when talking about her father's condition. And Lynn even shares in her book, quote, Looking back, I am almost positive staying with Jamie was not the right thing to do for my kids. Which is obviously a really terrible realization to have and to know that you, you know, really affected your children's lives by putting them in that situation is really hard and I'm sure she feels a lot of guilt for that. Imagine if Britney's father was such a horrible influence then, how horrible of an influence he still is today on Britney's life. But at the end of the day, Jamie Lynn was pretty close to her father. Speaking to people who are close to the family, they would actually say Brittany is more like Lynn on Lynn's side and Jamie Lynn is more like her father, James. But really, their relationship is dependent on how James is doing because you guys know he struggles with substances. In an interview that Jamie Lynn did, she spoke about her father and said that he's got some demons that come out when he's drinking. James might try to play like he changed in that interview, but I feel like he's still the same old dog. But Jamie Lynn has come out and said that she did have a nice childhood. She described in an interview that it was like Christmas every day having Britney Spears as a sister because, you know, she got to reap all the benefits. And in an interview in the past, she talked about how she was able to travel the world, how she was able to have a lot of opportunity because Britney was her sister, and she was able to live off of Britney's name, even though nowadays she's not standing up for Britney at all. What is going on here? Whenever it happened, I just remember being like, wait, what? My sister's on the radio? I don't understand. I remember my exact words were, like, Mariah Carey? I was like, that's how my sister is? And that was the first time it clicked for me because I had a real comparison as a child. But my childhood consisted of being able to travel with my sister and, you know, do things that most people never get to do in their life. Those are the things I focus on. And... My sister made it so fun. It was kind of like it was my, it was like my tour and she just let me run around doing whatever I wanted. 
I've said this in previous videos, but I will say it again. I really don't feel like Jimmy Lynn and Brittany are sisters like we like to think of sisters or our brothers, or if you have siblings or cousins or anything at all, because they didn't like grow up in a house together. Brittany was constantly working, constantly on tour. Like you heard Jimmy Lynn say, like she was on tour with her sister and going around and, you know, presenting awards with her sister on stage, which seems really amazing to us, but that's pretty much it. And when it came to Brittany, like having, you know, personal times with Jamie Lynn there's just a huge age gap and plus Brittany was traveling from five years old onward and she was never in the house with Jamie Lynn and then her parents separated so they really weren't like siblings like what we think um I mean Jamie Lynn I feel like she probably sees her more like um I don't know, like the bank than a sister because she has been financing her life for some time, even though Jamie Lynn likes to go and act like, oh no, I've never used my sister's money. And she hates when people say that she's used her sister's money because everyone said it for so long. But she has. I mean, there's even expense reports that she has turned or that have been turned in for flights and different things that Brittany has paid for. And it's just like, stop pretending, girl. Like, we know you have um, lived off of your sister. It's just like, why don't you stand up for her freedom? And I think people would leave it alone and respect it. Then the years move on and Jamie Lynn is given a great opportunity since she is Britney's sister and has the Spears last name. She is able to be the lead in a Nickelodeon show called Zoe 101, which we all now love and adore, but like the reboot, it's just not it. Like that music video, please. Like it was such a disappointment and like all the TikTokers too, I just don't understand like why are these TikTokers invited to this? It's fine. I don't dislike any of them. I'm just like, why are they the ones? who are acting in this but whatever and Gigi Gorgeous so random like love Gigi but like why um anyways she started this in 2005 and that's around the same time that she met Lou M. Taylor that New York pizza rat that everyone loves to talk about well there's records going back to 2006 that show that Lou M. Taylor was representing Jamie Lynn Spears and when you go to those records they're kind of creepy like let's just take a read so the last line of the description about Lou says, quote, I am a strong woman. I am a boss. I am a woman in a man's business. I am married to a godly man and a pastor. I am a submissive wife. What does that mean? Like, so, what is going on there? That is so weird to put on like a little um, special guest like show thing, whatever this record was, wherever this paper was pulled from, that is so awkward to list yourself as that. Like, why would she describe herself as a submissive wife? Like, ooh, like you're making me uncomfortable. And keep in mind, guys, Britney does not want Lou M. Taylor around her or in her life, let alone her business manager or her sister's business manager. Even though Lou M. Taylor has resigned as Britney's business manager, she still might be Jamie Lynn's, and I wouldn't be surprised if she still is. Anyways, there have been emails that have been leaked, like this one to Britney's lawyer back in 2007, where she's literally telling him, do you care if I am because this woman is me and she is crazy and I feel like Brittany has every right to be complaining because she has been weird sending pink cats to her house and you know trying to um, just get herself into Brittany's life so that she could take over it and that's exactly what she did now let's take it back to Jamie Lynn Spears because remember she got pregnant and literally ruined Zoe 101 for us she took that away from us because at 16 years old she became pregnant with a guy named Casey who she's no longer with she's actually married to a man named Jamie like why is everyone in this family named the same name We've got Big Jamie, um, which is James Spears, Britney's father. We've got Jamie Lynn. Then we've got her husband, Jamie. Like, oh my gosh, they, they need to find some new names. Anyways, that went down, and I don't believe that she got pregnant with Dan, the director. Everyone likes to say that, but, like, that is a conspiracy for now. Casey was supposedly the father. I mean, if you've got some, like, uh, theories about the Dan situation, leave it in the comments below. But it was unfortunate because Britney literally found out this news from the paparazzi. Found, she found out her sister was pregnant from the press. Like, can you imagine how embarrassing that is? Being like, yeah, my 16 year old sister's not pregnant. And they'd be like, yeah, no, she is. Like, whoa. Why, that's why I'm saying, like, these are not sisters. Like, this is not a normal relationship. It's just like, I don't know how to describe it because Britney is just so famous. She was forced into fame at such a young age that her sister cannot have a normal relationship with her. And this is a great example of that. It's please. Whatever. 
Then comes January 2008, where Lou and Taylor goes on a PR tour and claims to be close to Britney Spears. Well, I mean, at this point, they are, like, she's working with them. But, like, she <laughs> is over here representing the family and talking about Britney's mental health, even though she has been involuntarily put into the psychiatric hospital. Why is the crazy lady giving statements on behalf of Britney? It doesn't make sense. Watch this interview and just like keep in mind this woman had to resign recently and there's probably going to be some type of investigation. It is just all way too much. I'm beyond. I mean here you have Britney that needs to have some security somewhere that every single thing she does and every single person she has a relationship with doesn't become an opportunity to be exploited. I mean, when do you ever rest in that if you're constantly in fear of being exploited? And, you know, I just felt for Jamie and Lynn, this was a time where, you know, they were taken advantage of, that they, they, they are people who love their daughter and that know exactly what's going on and want that support. And yet they have been criticized themselves, in particular, uh, Jamie, for her relationship with, I'm not Jamie, I'm sorry, Lynn, her relationship with the daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, her younger daughter, Jamie Lynn, recently announced that she is pregnant, and, and the mom has been vilified in a lot of the press. H how do you respond to that? Well, you know, what I would like to say is that I really feel like people just do not know the Spears family. What they don't know about Jamie and Lynn Spears is that every day Jamie goes to work as a professional chef, asking the Lord to give him the strength to honor the people he works for in the midst of circumstances. That Lynn Spears is a mother that is brokenhearted just because she's apart from her daughter, that she loves her daughter so much. And again, asking every day for God to give her strength and for her to continue to have hope. I mean, I, I'm so disturbed, Meredith, where we've gotten to be as a people, the morbidity of us watching the depravity of people suffering than to rally around and be hopeful. So really for, I guess, for me to be self-indulgent for a moment, that I would really hope that all those who seek God for strength in their life would be interceding for this family because Jamie Spears, Lynn Spears, Brian, and Jamie Lynn Spears are all amazing people. Lou Taylor, we thank you very much. She is just so nasty manipulative, in my opinion. Like, she gives me the irks. Like, oh gosh. Literally, if a rat ran into my room and I, like, had to jump on my desk, like, that would be the vibe I would get just from her if I was in the same facility or whatever. Okay, anyways. So, that happened in January. And then in February 2008, a month later, Brittany was put into a conservatorship. Tell me how a 26-year-old is put into a conservatorship for dementia. Like, please. And she's a huge superstar. Obviously, she had no control over anything going on, and she was just completely taken advantage of, in my opinion, allegedly. But remember that book I was talking about earlier, her mother's book? Well, that revealed that this plan to put Brittany in a conservatorship was actually um, planned for weeks. Like, it was so organized that Britney did not see it coming and her father and Liam Taylor, who is, you know, Jamie Lynn's best friend, knew all about it. Lynn's book actually says plans have been underway for six weeks for Jamie to petition the court for temporary conservatorship over Britney, but it seemed like an impossible dream at that point, with Sam still so entrenched in her life, Sam Lufty. In fact, Jamie was going to file for the conservatorship on January 22nd, eight days beforehand, but he and the business manager, Lou, felt God leading them to wait, fast, and pray, despite the frustration of the lawyers. Like, what is going on here? This sounds like they, like, a cult and a ritual to put Britney in this conservatorship. Like, did they like summon some gods to help them do this? Like, what is happening? It is actually crazy. I mean, how did she take over Britney's life? She must have done some crazy work, and she did. According to sources, she really did manipulate James into putting Britney in this conservatorship, and she is the mastermind of everything that has happened. I mean, is she the one to blame? I want to say 100% yes, but her dad is also to blame as well. Lou was trying to get herself so deep rooted into this family that they could not work or leave her or be disconnected from her in any way. She was doing press talking about how, you know, um, Lynn Spears said that she was disappointed and how uh, Jamie Lynn got pregnant, but then Lou and Taylor is here stepping in. Like, honestly, do you want to hear my random, my, my opinion? I feel like 
there's some definitely some beef between Lin and Liu, and I feel like Liu, even though she is a submissive wife and a pastorly woman, I do feel like there's something between her and James that is kind of weird, and it's kind of odd to see how, like, Liu is working, like, with magazines to talk about Lin's relationship with her daughter. It's just all really icky and doesn't feel right. And honestly, at this point, Jamie Lynn was going through it because she has her baby and she also has her baby daddy um, going to the press and asking for a quarter million dollars to talk to the press about Jamie Lynn and to spill the tea on everything. At this point, there were affairs going on and a ton of things, so he had a bunch to talk about, and Lou M. Taylor stepped up and said, hey, well, if he wants to go talk to the press, he can make a deal through me. So, of course, she wants to get that little bit of cut of whatever he would make talking to the press about this family. I really don't feel like she actually cares about their well-being. She just cares about making money in any way possible. I mean, remember she tried to get um, Lindsay Lohan into a conservatorship? And I made a whole video about that, so check that out. But back to Jamie Lynn. Even though there is so much corruption going on, Jamie Lynn never turned against Lou and Taylor or the people putting Britney through everything so tragic and so terrible. I mean, there's the voicemail of Britney trying to get out of her conservatorship. Hi, my name is Brittany Spears. Um, I called you earlier, um, but I'm calling you in because I just wanted to make sure that um, during the process of ending the conservatorship that um, my father has written me several times that, um, you know, he'll take my children away. I just want to be guaranteed that everything will be fine with the process of um, you guys taking care of everything and um, things just being the same as far as my um, custodial time. There are text messages from Britney that were leaked that claimed that Lou M. Taylor was a holy freak, in Britney's words, and that Lou M. Taylor was planning to try to send away Jamie Spears, Jamie Lynn Spears, when she was pregnant. So why is Lou M. Taylor so invested in their lives? It's scary to think about because Lou M. Taylor literally was on the board of this ministry that was doing exorcisms on young girls so like I would never trust her religious advice at all it seems very extremist in my opinion but Jamie Lynn seems to love her for some reason and like we mentioned earlier she has a relationship with her father who has been known to be quite physical in the past not only with Britney's kids with Britney but with other people as well and like in this text message from Britney um Britney shares that I can't say too much because pretty much Jamie Lynn was going to get rid of her pregnancy and Brittany's father was going to like to her if she did and it's just a lot and very personal and I don't even know why it's leaked and out there but I feel like if Lou and Taylor and all these people weren't so involved in Brittany's life all of these personal things wouldn't be leaked and you know come out and they honestly have to come out so the truth can come out. Yet Jamie Lynn is over here kissing Lou's butt and posting stories like this one where she says, I've been telling y'all for 14 years she's the best, so I'm happy she's getting the recognition she more than deserves. Um, most of you will never know the unbelievable things this woman has done for so many without hesitation or being paid a dime. Oh my gosh, without being paid. That's what you think. You have no idea without being paid a dime. I like how she includes that because I like, is Loon Taylor like, oh, I'll do it for free or I'll do it for free. And then she's still like making her $500,000 cut of Britney's um, fortune. She's always going to do what she feels is the right thing to do. And they don't give awards for that, but they should. And again, she got a Billboard Music, Women in Music Management freaking award in 2019. And now look at her. In 2020, she has left her job because of the whole scandal and what she has done to Britney. So can they take back that award? Like, actually, we should ask them. Um, let's take back that award, Billboard. Before we talk about some craziness, I just want to give you guys 30 seconds of like, um, background peacefulness because the next thing is really crazy. So um, here are some pictures of, you know, Lou M. Taylor and Jamie Spears just loving each other. This is actually a gift that Jamie Lynn sent Lou M. Taylor for her 50th birthday. And on Instagram, you can see uh, Lou M. Taylor went to Jamie Lynn's wedding, commenting, love you, what a day it was, and just commenting all over each other's Instagram. Okay, 30 seconds over. <laughs> Jamie Lynn was seen with a behind a counter at a restaurant, yet she's not the one that's under this conservatorship. Like, what is going on here? She's all lovey-dovey with Lou M. Taylor, and Lou M. Taylor obviously sees her over here with a 
like at least Britney had her umbrella during her breakdown like this is actually crazy yet Jamie Lynn isn't being held to the same standard as Britney right someone please comment below and tell me what happened I hope the guy survived but um looks like a scary movie and Jamie Lynn honestly her life is a scary movie a life I would not want to live but if you do want to know more about Jamie Lynn's life, she does have a documentary titled When the Lights Go Out. Of course, it was managed by Lou Taylor. Get that money, honey. And um, pretty much she made a documentary about her stardom and her life and everything going on. And actually, Lou and Taylor was seen throughout it. And remember, this is a woman that Britney doesn't want in her life, yet her sister is like mother daughter with her. I do feel like because of their unprofessional relationship, like I said, mother-daughter, I I think that Loom Taylor has taken advantage of Jamie Spears in some ways. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, people like Loom Taylor, and this is my opinion, are just trying to benefit themselves, and they will use anyone to do so, including Jamie Lynn Spears. And Jamie Lynn Spears, I guess, just is on board. Because in 2018, it was revealed that Jamie Lynn Spears was secretly named the trustee of one of Britney's largest accounts, which holds estimated $600 million in assets that she has set aside for herself and her children. This was not made public until earlier this year. So why would Jamie Lynn Spears, with no qualifications at all, be named the trustee of this account when no one else really is the trustee at all like she holds a lot of power in this position maybe because there's someone else who is trying to influence her in some ways you guys know that 600 million dollars was it was shuffled around a little bit supposedly and i don't really know what happened but she did step out as the trustee of this account do not trust Jamie Lynn Spears. We need to talk about this. Okay, so behind me is Lou Taylor, AKA Jamie Spears manager. Now Lou has been managing Jamie since she was 16 and you guys, I'm about to show you proof of how Jamie and Lou were the masterminds behind Britney Spears conservatorship. First, we're gonna bring it back to 2007. Britney sent her lawyer a letter saying that Lou had been stalking her and sending her random packages. Now in 2008, she was involuntarily put in a mental hospital. And guess who was the spokesperson to the media about it? Lou. And listen to this extremely manipulative thing she said. Lynn, Jamie Spears, Lynn Spears, Brian, and Jamie Lynn Spears are all amazing people. So she clearly has it out for Britney. Now that year, Britney's conservatorship started and her mom wrote in her autobiography that Jamie and Lou were the ones who planned it. Now flash forward to 2018 when Jamie Lynn Spears was named the official trustee of Britney's $600 million fund. And around that same time, Lou Taylor's company, Stonebridge, randomly increased by $600 million. Like what?! And since Jamie Lynn was a trustee of this account, she's more than aware of what Britney is dealing with in a conservatorship, yet she's not doing anything. It's funny because her mom, Lynn, she likes a bunch of comments on social media, but she liked a comment on Instagram that said, Britney needs you and you are doing nothing. I thought you loved her. I was wrong. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why is Lynn liking that comment? I'm like, okay, like, of course Jamie Lynn isn't stepping up. But she did post a tweet in the past trying to claim that she has stood up for her sister. And in this tweet, she posted a video from 10 years ago claiming that she has been standing up for her sister for so long, yet that's the most recent thing you could find of you standing up for your sister from 10 years ago. Like, it's actually laughable because she's doing nothing and right now we're in the peak of the free britney movement and during this time she is working like nothing is going on appearing in netflix shows and movies or whatever and lou and taylor is congratulating her because you know lou and taylor is getting her pay cut too but again this weird relationship between lou and jamie lynn i think is leading to a more toxic relationship between jamie lynn and britney spears Jamie Lynn posted a video about how she um, pretty much unfollowed Britney and she claims it was a hacker that did it. I really just don't think that Jamie Lynn is smart enough to know that people can realize when you unfollow or block someone and she tried to make up this excuse even though she knows there are some problems here. I wanted to address something even though I shouldn't because it's so stupid but someone obviously got in my account and blocked my sister. I never blocked my sister and I never would so whatever petty asshole did that like for real. My sister is the absolute and I love and support her in every single way. Also, if I had a real problem with her, don't you think I'd call her up or go see her? Do you really think that I would block her on a social platform? Come on, people. So, no. 
Spear sisters are fine. I did not block her. Someone with way too much time on their hands. A little sure I did, I guess. Love my sis and love her post. So why would I block a good follow? And her activity on Instagram has only hurt the situation. Like posting that, um, the whole mental health thing, claiming that Britney Spears needs privacy in the situation, and then going on comments claiming that Britney, again, wants privacy, when Britney has made it clear to her lawyer in court documents that she, in fact, doesn't want privacy, that she wants whatever can be public be made public to everyone, and we can see what's actually going on in her conservatorship because I'm pretty sure she's trying to turn over everything and get out of it. Yet, Jamie Lynn is helping with Loom Taylor in any way possible. Of course, Loom Taylor is reposting the mental health post of Jamie Lynn's and Jamie Lynn comments love you on it. It's just all really ugh, sickening. I please stop you guys like these two are just like mother and daughter. They're perfect for each other and in the mix of everything else with everything going on she claims oh privacy privacy is what's needed and yet she goes and talks to Lance Bass of all people and he straight up goes to the press and talks about it to everyone else and why are you going to claim Britney wants privacy, yet you're going to go and tell Lance Bass to go and tell the public what's going on with the situation? It just seems like she obviously doesn't know what she's doing, and I feel like the whole Britney camp, their whole team, is just crumbling and falling apart. I mean, why is Jamie Lynn retaliating against people on Instagram when someone comments fear of losing your allowance? And she writes, haha, nice try, but I've never been paid a dime from my sister. That is her hard earned money and I am not entitled to a cent of it. Maybe you're not being paid by Brittany, but like Lou and Taylor is definitely like finessing something in my opinion. And like we have logs of you actually getting reimbursements from Brittany's team on certain bills and things like that. I mean, Brittany pays for her father's rent. She pays for um, her mother's house. Like, Brittany pays for so much. So, of course, Jamie Lynn is living off of her sister, even though she claims she doesn't. At the end of the day, Jamie Lynn has done nothing to help free her sister or to free Britney. In fact, she has been cozying up to all the people who have put Britney in this terrible conservatorship and this legal battle that has that has cost her thousands of dollars, hundred like millions. I'm like hundred of million. Like I don't know how much money, a ton of money. And obviously, Jamie Lynn is not trying to help her sister or has Britney's best interests in mind. And that's why Britney Spears should not trust Jamie Lynn at all. She's over here doing the whole Zoe 101 cringe moment and, you know, going on interviews and singing on stage with Chantelle Jeffries, yet Britney Spears is over here battling in court against their own father. Why can't Jamie Lynn step in and stop James or just share her opinion or speak out against the family? Because she doesn't want to. Because she's been living a lavish life not doing this and benefiting off of her sister. And it's unfortunate that Britney has been surrounded by such toxic people who truly don't care about her. But she's been winning in court and I hope that things will turn around soon. Before we close out this video, I want to do a quick moment where I read some of your guys' opinions from Instagram because I told you guys I was doing this uh, video and I want to read your guys' opinions on camera. So why don't we do that? Okay guys, I can already tell these are going to be crazy and I cannot put them on the screen because there are so many curse words, I just can't. Okay, I'm just going to go and rapidly read them. She is a hungry tiger raised by a narcissist that puts all of her trauma and jealousy on her sister. Ooh, I don't understand why she doesn't do something to help her sister. I hate Jamie Lynn, she is a snake. I liked her when she was young, but now she just seems strange and out of touch. She is using Britney's spotlight to gain fame and is secretly jealous of Britney and how famous she is. She is only famous because of her sister. She is mediocre and she really pointy for some reason. Oh my gosh, like her face is really pointy. Um, someone said she's a parasite. Um, someone said, we'll honestly never like her. In the beginning, I knew something was wrong with her. Someone said, like father, like daughter. Um, someone said, evil, ugly, bitter. <laughs> someone said, man, she got old. Troll under the bridge. Ew. She's been the bitter little sister her whole life, but she looks like the older sister. Yikes. Oh my gosh, you guys are so savage. I honestly don't know how to feel about her. She may try to show a perfect life, but sad how she's not standing up for her sister. Um, a little harsh. Two-faced snake. Um, yes, she's just a person that uses someone, aka Brittany, her sister, for money and fame. Like, nope, honey. Um, 
a backstabbing, a lot of cuss words. Um, also kind of creepy with all those childish posts and stories like grow up Zoe 101, like grow up JB Lynn. Um, problematic. She want to be Britney so bad, but only comes to like dollar store level. Um, there's such a big age gap between them. I don't think they're that close, period. Um, she didn't age well, might not be the villain. Perhaps lawyers shut her attempts to free Britney. I don't think so. Scammer, um, hate this person with a burning passion. Throw up emojis. We've got ruined Zoe 101 for me. Oh my gosh. She's um, taking advantage of Britney financially. She's unhappy, odd smile, um, talentless. Oh my gosh, garbage human being, uh, user, um, complicit with the sea ship for her financial freedom. She's fake. Um, she is amazing. Zoe 101 reboot needs to happen. Oof. I don't think it is. Sorry. Selfish. Um, clueless. She is ugly. Um, don't understand how someone could be so heartless towards the person who has helped her. Mooching off her sister and her uh, jealousy of her sister's success. Honestly, a shame she doesn't try to help her own sister. Opportunist. Fake. Money hungry. Awful sister. I honestly never liked her. Had a feeling she was using her sister. Um, Dan Snyder corrupted her. Oh, gosh. Um, brainwashed young but is old enough by now to know better. Comes off as jealous of Britney. Dan Schneider is her baby daddy. Oh my gosh. Um, ugh, greedy and jealous. She's fake. Fake pointy witch. Oh my gosh. Ruined her natural beauty with her nose job. Too pointy now. Oh my gosh. Um, she seems okay, but I don't know a lot about her. She seems very conceited. Um, uh, did she get a nose job? No hate. I'm just curious. It looks more pointy than Zoe 101. Oh my gosh. Um, good for nothing mooch. Um, hate her. She should be supporting her sister. I don't understand why she's with Lou. And that is a great one to leave on. And here's just all of them so you guys can see. Wait, why does that one grayed out? Okay, maybe I'll just click on it. But yeah, there are so many people who have a lot of opinions about Jamie Lynn. And oh, someone just sent a new one. I don't like her. Um, yeah, she's a liar in Mooch. And she looks like Franklin the Turtle because she has no lips. Uh, I have to log off. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a video. I love hearing your guys' opinions on certain things. So leave your opinion below in the comments. And I'll see you guys again soon on my channel. And share this video because for some reason my channel is like really going down. Like, I don't know. Just share it for me, please, if you love me. Bye, guys.